How to Master Your Emotions for Good by Thibaut Muris Master Your Emotions is a self-help book by Thibaut Muris that explores the topic of emotional mastery. The book delves into the importance of understanding our emotions and how to manage them effectively. In this video, we will take an in-depth look at the book, exploring its key themes, ideas, and strategies for mastering our emotions. Understanding our emotions is an important aspect of our overall well-being. Emotions play a significant role in shaping our thoughts and behavior, and they can have a profound impact on our mental and physical health. In Part 1 of Master Your Emotions, Thibaut Muris explores the topic of emotional understanding, providing insights into the different types of emotions, how they are created, and why they are important. We'll examine the key themes and ideas presented in Part 1 of Master Your Emotions. Types of Emotions the first chapter of Part 1 of Master Your Emotions explores the different types of emotions. Neuris explains that emotions can be either positive or negative, and that they can range from simple feelings like joy and sadness to more complex emotions like envy and guilt. He emphasizes that all emotions are a natural and necessary part of our lives, and that they serve a purpose. Positive emotions, such as joy and contentment, can help us build strong relationships and improve our mental and physical health. Negative emotions, such as fear and anger, can help us identify potential threats and protect ourselves from harm. However, Neuris warns that negative emotions can also become problematic if they are not managed effectively, leading to stress, anxiety, and other health problems. The Creation of Emotions The second chapter of Part 1 of Master Your Emotions explores the creation of emotions. Neuris explains that emotions are created in response to stimuli in our environment, such as events, people, and situations. He notes that emotions are created in our brain, specifically in the amygdala, which is responsible for processing emotional information. Neuris explains that emotions are created through a process of appraisal, in which our brain evaluates the relevance and significance of the stimuli in our environment. This evaluation process is influenced by our past experiences, beliefs, and values. For example, if we have had negative experiences with public speaking in the past, we may feel anxious or fearful when faced with a public speaking opportunity. The Importance of Emotions The third chapter of Part 1 of Master Your Emotions explores the importance of emotions. Neuris explains that emotions play a significant role in shaping our thoughts and behavior, and that they can have a profound impact on our mental and physical health. He notes that emotions can influence our decision-making, motivation, and interpersonal relationships. Neuris also emphasizes the importance of being aware of our emotions and learning how to manage them effectively. He notes that negative emotions can be particularly problematic if they are not managed effectively, leading to stress, anxiety, and other health problems. Conclusion Part 1 of Master Your Emotions provides a comprehensive overview of emotions and their role in our lives. Thibault Muris explores the different types of emotions, how they are created, and why they are important. He emphasizes the fact that emotions are a natural and necessary part of our lives and that they can be used to help us achieve our goals. Overall, Part 1 of Master Your Emotions is a valuable resource for anyone looking to develop greater emotional intelligence and improve their overall well being. By understanding the different types of emotions, how they are created, and why they are important, we can learn how to manage our emotions effectively and achieve greater success in all areas of our lives. Emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage our own emotions, as well as the emotions of others. In Part 2 of Master Your Emotions, Thibaut Muris explores the topic of emotional intelligence, providing insights into the importance of emotional intelligence, how to develop it, and how to use it to achieve greater success in life. We'll examine the key themes and ideas presented in Part 2 of Master Your Emotions. The Importance of Emotional Intelligence The first chapter of Part 2 of Master Your Emotions explores the importance of emotional intelligence. Neuris explains that emotional intelligence is a crucial skill for success in both personal and professional life. He notes that emotional intelligence can help us build strong relationships, improve our communication skills, and enhance our ability to manage stress and conflict. 
Neuris also emphasizes that emotional intelligence is not something that we are born with, but rather a skill that can be developed and improved over time. He notes that developing emotional intelligence requires a willingness to be introspective and to engage in self-reflection. How to Develop Emotional Intelligence The second chapter of Part 2 of Master Your Emotions explores how to develop emotional intelligence. Neuris notes that there are several strategies that we can use to improve our emotional intelligence, including mindfulness, self-reflection, and social awareness. Mindfulness is a technique that involves being fully present in the moment, without judgment or distraction. Neuris notes that mindfulness can help us become more aware of our emotions and the impact they have on our thoughts and behavior. He recommends practicing mindfulness through techniques such as meditation or yoga. Self-reflection is another important strategy for developing emotional intelligence. Neuris recommends setting aside time each day to reflect on our emotions and the events that triggered them. This can help us identify patterns in our emotional responses and develop strategies for managing them more effectively. Finally, Neuris emphasizes the importance of social awareness in developing emotional intelligence. This involves being attuned to the emotions and needs of others, and developing strong interpersonal skills. He notes that social awareness can be developed through activities such as volunteering, participating in group activities, and seeking feedback from others. Using Emotional Intelligence The third chapter of Part 2 of Master Your Emotions explores how to use emotional intelligence to achieve greater success in life. Neuris notes that emotional intelligence can be used to improve our communication skills, build strong relationships, and enhance our ability to manage stress and conflict. Neuris recommends several strategies for using emotional intelligence effectively. For example, he notes that active listening is a crucial component of effective communication and recommends practicing active listening skills by repeating back what others have said and asking clarifying questions. Neuris also emphasizes the importance of empathy in building strong relationships. He notes that empathy involves putting ourselves in others' shoes and understanding their perspective. By developing empathy, we can improve our ability to connect with others and build stronger relationships. Finally, Neuris notes that emotional intelligence can help us manage stress and conflict more effectively. He recommends developing a toolbox of strategies for managing stress, such as deep breathing, exercise, and mindfulness techniques. He also recommends developing conflict resolution skills, such as active listening and effective communication. Conclusion Part 2 of Master Your Emotions provides valuable insights into the power of emotional intelligence and how to develop it. Thibault Muris emphasizes the importance of emotional intelligence for success in both personal and professional life, and provides strategies for developing emotional intelligence through mindfulness, self-reflection, and social awareness. Neuris also provides practical tips for using emotional intelligence to achieve greater success in life, such as active listening, empathy, and stress management techniques. Overall, Part 2 of Master Your Emotions is a valuable resource for anyone looking to improve their emotional intelligence. Part 3 of Master Your Emotions by Thibault Muris explores strategies for emotional mastery. Emotional mastery is the ability to regulate our emotions effectively, rather than being controlled by them. This chapter provides practical tips and strategies for developing emotional mastery, including techniques for managing negative emotions, developing resilience, and cultivating positive emotions. This essay will examine the key themes and ideas presented in Part 3 of Master Your Emotions. Managing Negative Emotions The first chapter of Part 3 of Master Your Emotions explores techniques for managing negative emotions. Neuris notes that negative emotions such as anger, fear, and sadness can be overwhelming and difficult to manage, but it is possible to develop strategies for coping with them effectively. Neuris recommends several strategies for managing negative emotions, including identifying triggers, reframing negative thoughts, and practicing mindfulness. He notes that identifying triggers is an important first step in managing negative emotions, as it allows us to anticipate and prepare for situations that may trigger an emotional response. Reframing negative thoughts involves changing our perspective on negative events or situations. 
Neuris recommends practicing cognitive restructuring techniques such as replacing negative thoughts with positive ones or reframing negative events as opportunities for growth. Finally, Neuris notes that mindfulness can be a powerful tool for managing negative emotions. Mindfulness involves being present in the moment, without judgment or distraction. Neuris recommends practicing mindfulness techniques such as meditation or deep breathing to help manage negative emotions. Developing Resilience The second chapter of Part 3 of Master Your Emotions explores the concept of resilience. Neuris notes that resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and challenges and is a key component of emotional mastery. Neuris recommends several strategies for developing resilience, including developing a growth mindset, practicing gratitude, and seeking social support. Developing a growth mindset involves viewing challenges as opportunities for growth rather than as threats. Neuris notes that practicing gratitude can also help build resilience as it can help us focus on the positive aspects of our lives, even in the face of adversity. Finally, Neuris notes that seeking social support is an important component of resilience. He recommends cultivating strong relationships with family and friends, as well as seeking support from a therapist or counselor if needed. Cultivating Positive Emotions The third chapter of Part 3 of Master Your Emotions explores the importance of cultivating positive emotions. Neuris notes that positive emotions such as joy, gratitude, and contentment can have a powerful impact on our well-being and overall happiness. Neuris recommends several strategies for cultivating positive emotions, including practicing gratitude, engaging in activities that bring us joy, and cultivating positive relationships. Practicing gratitude involves focusing on the positive aspects of our lives and expressing gratitude for them. Engaging in activities that bring us joy, such as hobbies or creative pursuits, can also help cultivate positive emotions. Neuris notes that cultivating positive relationships is also important, as it can help us feel connected and supported. Conclusion Part 3 of Master Your Emotions provides practical strategies for developing emotional mastery. Thibault Muris emphasizes the importance of managing negative emotions, developing resilience, and cultivating positive emotions. Neuris provides valuable tips and techniques for managing negative emotions, such as identifying triggers, reframing negative thoughts, and practicing mindfulness. He also recommends developing resilience through strategies such as developing a growth mindset, practicing gratitude, and seeking social support. Finally, Neuris emphasizes the importance of cultivating positive emotions, such as joy, gratitude, and contentment. By practicing gratitude, engaging in activities that bring us joy, and cultivating positive relationships, we can improve our emotional well-being and achieve greater emotional mastery. Overall, Part 3 of Master Your Emotions is a valuable resource for anyone looking for it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.